What's up guys, Dylon here, and today I'm gonna be talking about the hot topic of hip thrusts on the Vitruvian. I got my short shorts on for this. Let's get into this video. So comment, share, subscribe, and let me show you how you can do some hip thrusts on the Vitruvian. So the reason why I'm making this video is because people keep asking, can you do hip thrusts on the Vitruvian? Now, I will say, I don't do many hip thrusts when it comes to my workouts. Maybe I should. They've gained a lot of popularity in recent years because I guess they target the glutes pretty well and you can move a lot of weight. I've seen a lot of women doing hip thrusts because I think it's a fairly glute centric exercise and you, they can put a bunch of weight on. So maybe you get a sense of accomplishment there. So I'm no expert on them, but I know they're fairly good. I just generally do more squats and lunges and deadlifts and that kind of stuff, but hip thrusts are good. And luckily, the Vitruvian is capable for doing those hip thrusts. So let me show you a few setups you can use on the Vitruvian for these hip thrusts. So we're gonna start sitting here. We're gonna start with the bar, the barbell. And so you really need the pro kit for this to make this work. The, the, we're gonna use the barbell. We're also gonna use the bench here, and then obviously the Vitruvian. And the other set we're gonna do, we're gonna use this, this band right here. Okay, we're gonna be using this band to do them. I'm gonna put the band over there. And one thing to keep in mind is the side in which you do these makes a difference because the Vitruvian isn't, it's the cables aren't exactly in the middle. They're more towards one side. So you can play around with it and see what works for you. I'm gonna show you what it looks like both ways. I'm gonna start by having the cables closer to the bench. Okay, so you can see in the video. And we're gonna see how that looks and we adjust the bench accordingly. Now this is all in the app for these hip thrusts. They're all there. But what I like to do is I like to keep the bench far enough away so my butt can drop down in this hole. I'll move that back just a little bit. And I don't have this loaded up, but I have it turned on, okay? So I'm on my hips here, but I gotta get back here and I gotta put my legs on the machine. So I can sit down right here, lean back, and have this. And luckily, with the Vitruvian, it's, uh, the cable isn't weighted, okay? So you can get in position, make sure it feels comfortable, make sure your feet are right, without having to worry about load on your body, which is a plus versus doing it on the ground. But as you see here, I can drop my butt down, right? And I can push up. So a hip thrust would just be right here on my hips here, can push up like this, I got pretty good range of motion, drop back down, tap my butt right there on the thing, go up, go down, up, down. You can even do, to you get your foot positioned right, you can even do single leg hip thrusts like this. You can swap it out, single leg like that. Pretty easy for it. And as you see, there's a little gap right here. That's like how far it can go down, but you're not gonna get crushed with the Vitruvian. It has built-in safety features for that. And of course, you can always play around with the bench, the angle, and all that kind of stuff. But that is the hip thrust from that angle, and I like that. Let's slide this over this way, and let's show you the other angle. Go over here. We're gonna do the same thing. Again, you just need to find which one works out best for you. But I like that angle because when I do this way, I gotta pull the cables further. Right, I'm on the machine like this, and it's just a I'll fix that mic there. It's just a slightly different angle of the machine that you're using. Slightly different resistance angle. It still feels pretty good like this, and I still got good range of motion to get these hip thrusts in. All right, just make sure you hold that bar there so it's in position there. But pretty easy to do those. You just gotta play around and see what angle works best for you. So that's with this barbell. Now, we're gonna take this off, set it to the side. We're gonna use this weight belt here. So, there's this belt, I don't know if it's a weight belt. We're gonna put this thing on. All right, and Vitruvian just released their new pro kit, which they've, made, they've taken feedback about these accessories and how they work and how to get them to work better. And this is one of those accessories that I think they improved upon because it's okay, but it's not great. But uh, in order, but so check, make sure you check that out. If you're ordering Vitruvian, make sure you use my link below 
Get the Pro Kit, I highly recommend it, especially look to get the new upgraded one because they've made some improvements in the design of some of these things, which I think is fantastic. So you're gonna need these little guys here and just clip that in and they just clip right into to this. Luckily, since my Vitruvian is on, I can pull this out there. I can pull this out, get it attached, make sure, it's, make sure it's, it is attached to the thing. All right. This one is not looking like it wants to be attached. Oh, I know why. So I did a real quick one, run and grab a screwdriver and I wanna show you this now in this video at the most flattering angle, sitting down and this is the best angle to show off your abs. But I'm doing it to show off the exercises, the hip thrusts. It's a little bit better from the side than right up in front. So you can see all down between my legs. We don't want that. But anyways, these little clips here, there's screws on these. And I think they might've improved this on the Pro Kit. I made a video talking about these, but they sometimes come loose. And I noticed that. And so it's good to check them periodically especially when they're new and you haven't used it very much. I have not used this hip belt very much at all, but you want to tie them down with a little Phillips head, head screwdriver. That way they don't get jammed, okay? Because if you don't and it, this piece clips in to this, it can get jammed and it just be a hassle to get it to come apart. But it's tightened, it's good. We're clipped in there. I'm going to clip in on the other side. All right. And again, great thing about Vitruvian is there's no load on it right now has some tension, but there's no like actual real weight on there. So just get positioned, make sure your feet are on the board, here on the Vitruvian, make sure you got enough range of motion and you can do your hip thrusts. And of course you can do the other side as well, but pretty easy to do the hip thrusts there. And one thing you can also do is grab one of these bands. I ordered these off of Amazon for 10, 15 bucks. There it says Rinage. There's probably a whole bunch of them just made by different companies. But you can do something like this, get the band, put it right there in your legs. So you got that tension there. So you can maintain that tension when you do these thrusts, right? And again, you can do a single leg and you can balance yourself with your hand, right? If you need to, single leg, right? Or just keep that tension on there. Hip thrust, hip thrust. All right. Enough of me thrusting like an 80s workout video. That is it for the Vitruvian and the hip thrusts. In the app, they have all the details, the things that you need to know about hip thrusts. And they, they even have their new updates on the app where they show that they're very attractive trainers demonstrating the exercises. So make sure to check that out there. But hopefully this video was helpful in showing you that you can do hip thrusts on the Vitruvian. They work well, it's great. And the cool thing is, if you know about the Vitruvian, you can do the different modes and reps. You can add, you can have it pro do progression or regression for the weights. You can do old school mode or time under tension mode, or you can do eccentric only. There's a lot of different things that you can do with the Vitruvian for this exercise. I think it's great. So I think it's great for hip thrusts. I think it's great for squats and all these other things. I highly recommend it. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a, make sure to comment below. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you're thinking about getting a Vitruvian, definitely click the link below. I have an affiliate link down there to help support me, this channel, to keep making content like this. So anyways, that's it for this video and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.